Yo, Base Octa here. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about my Captain Falcon build. You're gonna be running fast just like Captain Falcon and you're gonna be punching things, well, at least slamming, just like Captain Falcon because of these Falcon Fists, all right? Sinister Strike is gonna center around that. You're gonna do AOE with Falconry. So this is the Falconer build and it took me forever. I got so many freaking gloves, so many dupes and I finally got one. All right, let's look at the skills here. I pretty much just went as I go. I leveled the same way. There is one thing though that there seems to be more of like a mana problem. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff that allows me to get more mana. So um, let's just start off with the first skill that I got, right? Which is Acid Blast. And then it's kind of built around fire since I use Cinder Strike for the Falcon Punch. Uh, I might as well build on this for um, range. In case I need something, in case the enemy is like doing some AOE around them, I can't hit them. I just send my bird in and or throw fire bombs. So I pretty much just have this just be everything kind of supporting the Cinder Strike. So this mostly is just for the armor shred and slowing them down. And um, that's pretty much it. That's what it does. It does more increased fire damage. Just everything just kind of stack up just to do that fire stuff, right? Just AOE fire. Give me haste. That's kind of important here because um, a lot of this is actually going to also build on haste. So maybe I might take a point here. I might put it here. Um, but this is what I have so far. Acid blast all the way this way. And then just get the fire fires instead of poison. Now we got the main power here. The cinder strike. So what I did was I went for this one because it only make it one attack which is the AOE one that really matters. Falcon Fist is like, the first one is the AOE and the other one is the two regular hits. So I want to do this, but the problem is it made it cost mana, right? 30 plus mana. So that's why it's kind of a mana problem because everything here costs, pretty much costs mana. <laughs> uh, so 30 and you want to max it out because this is what you'd be spamming a lot. Um, I got this just for extra blast to throw out. I thought maybe it was like the same as this, but it's not, it's something else. Um, but I mostly went into the oil coating, so um, got this first, and then pretty much you want to go and get the oil coating so you can get this part right here, which is, limits your five. So as you're spamming more than five, you get more mana gain because this is tough the mana problem. And I got one of this and one of this just for some um, armor shred and extra additional damage. Then falconry right here. Um, pretty much I wanted to get this right away and this so this allows me to throw those bombs for free so technically i actually never throw my bombs manually unless i really need to or like can't get in um sometimes it's nice just to throw bombs out uh, but most of the time my bird is handling that so that's what this is for um i got one point of this i got one point of pretty much a lot of these things for the crit and extra bonus from me into my bird Right, but the more important thing is this thing where if I hit a boss or a rare enemy, I regain mana and or health, right? For 40 attributes based on my total attributes. So this is what I mostly use it for, just the mana stuff. Um, it supports into this because then this will give me haste, right? Because I throw my bombs and then lower my lower the resistance and then allow me to do Cinder Strike more often. And since, since the Falcon Fist increases Cinder Strike and Falconry, so it kind of go hand in hand. And I have these two here. These are all look kind of support as well. Yo, Dive Bomb is just too good not to have, right? It does massive damage. And the cooldown is not that long. It's five seconds. Um, and then if you get this one, you can even shorter cooldown. And it's mostly, I mostly use it for um, just as a DPS. It does the big DPS and it also allows me to um just do more armor shred right here this is actually the crit shred so allow me to crit more and then this one gives more uh shredding right and i just got these just to try things out it's not too bad get some talent blades increase your crit chance because that guy that that'll go hand in hand with the area of assault that'll go over later so this is kind of just the big dps thing and then this oh yeah mana right here i forgot about this one rapid pursuit right here um if you hit a boss or rare enemy just like the falconry you get part of your um transversal cooldown and you get mana right so you can hit it it costs zero but it has a cooldown so you can pretty much get free mana and then you get to reset this and this will go into this one and the main important thing is that you go all the way down here 
directly using aerosol will re recover a portion of your missing mana so that is there's a lot of things that go into the mana and this gives you health too so um since i use dive bomb it will shorten the cooldown of this and then using this will shorten the cooldown of this and this so it's kind of like go hand in hand then i got this one this is shorten this cooldown to make it like 3.6 seconds so i can just kind of spam it whenever and it's a transversal still it allows you to jump and fly over things and it hits while doing it um and then i went to this part this is the part where i want to crit right so every time i crit after using this skill I'll get stacks and every time I get stacks, I get extra damage and health, extra health. And then it kind of goes into this. After I use it again, I get haste, right? And then obviously uh, I also added this in here. And so non-crits will also happen. And this is extra dodge. Um, if I have more points, I'll probably put it in this. Uh, I didn't like this thing. Cause then the problem is I didn't want better storm is because I want my for to be not too occupied so he can start throwing out bombs <laughs> right so that's the main thing though the bombs do use your mana is not too bad um that's why you have a lot of mana gain but it does drain your mana quite a bit okay so that's the basic skill rundown let me know if you have any questions in the comments all right um and then i'm gonna go over my passive tree so a lot of it is mostly built on the haste part so i have this thing right here gain haste for every on hit right and increase damage so that's mostly what i'm using it for and i have glancing blow so a lot of hasting a lot of glancing blow stuff extra damage from here and there and i don't use any of these skills and then i also got a little bit in blade master just for that movement speed right the movement speed give extra damage uh based like this right here <laughs> and then i got one point did just for glancing blow. i might go more into it i'm not actually super high level i'm only 76 so this is the build of what i am at 76 and it's doing fairly well i i i got i got pretty far in a model of um 70 ish right it's a decent build i just wanted to share my take and my view right now on what i'm running i'm enjoying it i like slime too bad the animations and actually summon a bird <laughs> but slamming the ground very nice all right um and yeah so because then this thing gives cinder strike melee uh 15 right now is what i got um so and then three percent area this is a range here oh, uh let's see compare items oh here yeah the mate the ranges it's it's decent it's not the best uh i wish i had more cinder strike and then falconry you get falconry cinder strike melee attack speed and melee fire damage to me and my minions so it's like it's very good the mostly the most of damage come from is the top one, which is per level of falconry. Um, and then obviously unarmed with your falcon strikes. While unarmed, your falcon will give you increased damage as well and speed for uh, six seconds. So that's very good. Anyways, back to this. So I pretty much got into most of the haste stuff, right? You notice here, gain haste. Um, more, this is just for bombs. I just need something to put in there. A lot of stuff i pretty much first i would like got points in this and then i got points into this right it's mana regen and then you dodge when you get your mana so that's great and then i jump into this so this area of skills which is for the cinder strike right and dive bomb and bomb so everything kind of tied into area of effects and fire damage and physical so that that's what i have this is block chance this will convert everything into glancing so i just have a lot of glancing uh, chance this year uh, obviously i want this so it could be instant i don't have to like wait for the dive bomb to come in um it will give a long cooldown but i don't use it that often right most of the time i'll be spamming falcon punches or cinder strikes and then i went for the crit as well right i want a lot of crit for that aerial prowess and i got one point in this i might get more to this just so i can have that uncapped crit I got two points of this first to get the extra armor per hit on the on the extra decks on the falcon uh but i did like this one because it gives me extra health when the bird also attacks and increased damage uh but i mostly was like using points here just so i can lock this first because this gives haste last longer and increased effect so this is like the number one i was trying to go for with this and this and then after I got those, I went for this one, which gives more movement speed, right? So everything just tied in movement speed. So you've been moving very fast, falcon punching, um, glancing blow. You st I'm still kind of squishy, so I'm like working on my defenses now. But I, I, I can pretty much 
spam Tinder Strike quite a bit enough. So it's it's been very well. But yeah, that's the build. Um, you can check out my items. I got the lucky here with the dive bomb three with the minion damage. Uh helmet is just everything that you want to concentrate on getting mana regen. So that's what I've been doing. A lot of mana regen stuff and extra mana. Mana, mana, mana regen. Uh, this one just for damage. Um, since I can't use a weapon, this is empty, right? Before I was using hammer and shield until I got this. Since it took forever for me to get this thing. <laughs> but shield, you can wear shield just fine because that does not count unarmed. I mean, that counts as unarmed because you're technically still unarmed here, your main weapon. This gives crit, so anything gives you crit and mana regen is what I went for. And dodge. Move and movement speed. Correct. And then this one has in the beginning one of those plant things for mana regen. Movement speed, armor, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Idols, I did have um, health on dodge and stuff like that. Mostly fire damage. Phys physical okay, so mana regen, movement speed, dodge rating. Physical damage, fire damage, and just having extra mana. And crit. And crit. Yeah, right now I'm running. I got the new shield. Nice. And I went more points into attack speed. Right? <laughs> like, I spam more often. I have a maximum of four stacks. Grants block chance, but not the loss on block. I never block. So it just increases my thing. <laughs> oh. I don't care about the mage, to be honest, the rune prison. How fast I'm moving. Supersonic, the problem chronic. Tell me the letters it be on it. Yeah, go down. The first thing, I don't know, man. I need to work on my cardio first, like right now. <laughs> I say I'll survive decently. I know if I if it does happen, I'll be working on my cardio like crazy. I'm gonna do some cardio after this. Yeah. And then you have to find a way to get find food and stuff like that. And sneak. The sneaks. You gotta play solid sneak all the time. <laughs> solid snake. But if it comes to melee, yo, I I can I'll do fine with the bat, man. I won't be like scared or anything. I'll be like, you know, and you know it's, it's, Can I do some kicks in jujitsu, you know? <laughs> what am I? Dude, I'm getting poisoned. Oh my god, poison kicking my ass. 